backyard, your soil might be silty sandy, it might be clay, it might be a whole bunch of different things. The mason bee can't find clayey mud, we're gonna fly someplace else. So let's look at two different holes. We're in kind of near their headquarters. We look down here in this one, this is um, this is all sand. Grass grows here, but we're gonna find that a mason bee can't pick up sand and carry it to her hole, so she just won't, she'll leave. Okay, the grass is able to grow here. There's another site just a little bit over here. And so down here, as we pulled out this, tons of nice, good, just clay stuff. It's all sticking my fingers. Granted, the mason bee is not going to carry the humus, the uh, the the uh, roots, but this is good mud. So in my backyard, I would have opened a hole and really left the hole open, and the bee is going to go in there. Now this is a little wet. This is a deep spring around around here. The mason bee is going to go down into the hole and just pick out the, the clay that they need. So this is a great site. Hole in the ground, but maybe this far. Uh, as long as your soil is moist and there's good clay in there, that's what your mason bees are going to want to use. You might also go underneath rocks, they'll find anything in your yard, but this is just a helpful hint. Okay, so now we've got a sandy hole. It is wet. Um, your spring might keep the moisture there all the time, but it's too sandy. So we've got mason bee clay that comes in a bag and you're just putting about half a cup water in here. I would seal it while you're doing this and then you're going to knead it back and forth. Oops, so I didn't get all the way closed. But you're just going to mix it back and forth with your hand. So now I've got the clay from the sack into my hands and I'm just going to be putting this on the side wall of the hole. Nothing special here. The ground water is going to keep the clay moist. The reason I've got it on the side wall instead of down in the hole, in the morning you're going to find that your mason bees will be grabbing the mud from the top where it's kind of moist. During the day as the sun's kind of getting the part maybe dry, they'll walk on down and be getting the mud out of the bottom. This sack of, of mud is probably enough for a good couple hundred mason bees. That's all you need. Thanks.